everybody this is Connie welcome to another edition of um, my coloring book adult coloring book obsession and today we're got I've got two uh, new books to talk about and I got these the beginning of December I think I got them both at the same time they I found them actually um, at Shopgo they actually have a coloring book section now and um, I chose just a couple because and they were on sale so this book I'm going to talk about was $12.99, and I got it for $10. Okay, it's so pretty. That's the Posh Coloring Book, and there's like four in this series, but this is the one that I like the most. It's the Japanese Designs for Fun and Relaxation. So let's look at a few of these. The only bad thing about this is they're colored on both sides of paper. up high enough for you. Let me pick out a couple pictures that I want you to look at that I just think are so beautiful. There's koi fish, but I that one there is a little bit dark for me. There's another one, either in here or in a different book. This this one looks like fun. Here's some koi. See, in koi fish, fish, I always think about, you know, you have to kind of, here's the one I was talking about. You have to kind of do them in oranges and yellows and stuff like that, because that's the color of koi fish. There's another one in here that I just wanted to show you. They're absolutely, I mean, such beautiful. I really hope this paper, the paper seems pretty good. So I'm going to try it with gel pens. See, here's another koi fish. And look at those flowers. Aren't they gorgeous? All right. So that is the Posh Coloring Book, Japanese Designs for Fun and Relaxation. So you can kind of see on here all the koi fish are yellows and reds and oranges and stuff like that. It does not tell me who illustrated. Um, it's by Andrews McNeil Publishing, but it doesn't say who... Um, through all the pictures. Okay, the next one I was very excited about getting because I love mandalas. I love doing mandalas. And this is an interesting book. I have not really looked through it yet, but I'm going to read this. Um, reduce, the stress, reduce stress and produce creativity by coloring beautiful mandalas. Mandalas. I don't know how to say it. Mandalas is how I've always said it. Is it mandalas? Like with an A? Mandalas? Mandalas? Universally recognized as a symbol of peace, creativity, and inspiration, mandalas are sacred circular shapes. They were originally developed by Hindu and Buddhist symbols of the universe, and the process of their creation is known for reducing stress and helping artists find tra tranquility and balance. The unique compilation of 92 black and white designs for readers to color, plus a gallery of inspiration color examples of each. The black and white motifs in this collection were created specifically for, for the coloring book, and each one is on a perforated page so readers can remove it for ease of coloring. So grab your, fa your favorite coloring tools and discover the stress-relieving qualities of the ancient Mandela. This book includes... An introduction describing the history and beauty of the Mandela, 92 full-color images that exemplify traditional Mandela designs, 92 original black and white designs to color and bring to life, single-sided perforated pages that allow you to easily color and frame your finished artwork. 
And this is um, the Big Book of Mandela's Coloring for Everyone, a fun anti-stress coloring book. So you open it, and it tells you all about Mandela's here. It's very interesting. I mean, I really need to read this. Let's see, it shows pictures here. And then it's got um, all of these examples. But in my mind, their examples are way too dark. I don't, I mean, I like, I'm more the brighter, the reds and the bright pinks and the the um, pretty, the turquoises and the bright greens and stuff like this. These here are, just seem like they're kind of dull to me. All right, let's go through this. I'll show you a few of these. See if I can do this a little different this time. Just gonna grab a few here. Oh, but these look so fun. Really fun. I know I'm gonna love doing these. And as you go in the book, they get a little bit harder. Here's some more pictures. See, there's like a part one and a part two. To this and two I believe is a little bit more difficult one is the easier ones and two is the more difficult ones look at that one wow yeah they get definitely get more difficult towards the end of the book all right and it's a really thick book um, this book here was I'm thinking it was like 15 and I paid 11 for it. Um, 11 something for it, I think. Um, I was very happy. Oh, and then at the end of the books, they've got color, what they call color bars. And this says to use these bars to test your coloring medium and palette. Don't be afraid to try unique color combinations. Which, you know, a lot of Mandela's, I kind of like to do in color ranges, like blues to purples, um, that kind of stuff. You know, do, do them in that. Or pinks to reds, um, yellows to greens. The oranges um, can go with the yellows also, and the greens. Um, I, like, I like doing the Mandela's like that. I like doing them in kind of a color scheme is um you know because it's just a little bit too chaotic if you use all these different colors and mandelas i don't in my opinion so anyway um if you like this kind of thing if you love to color please give me a thumbs up and if you've had these books or you've seen these books tell me what you think tell me what you think about doing mandelas or what you think about japanese designs and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye-bye.